Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I want to go over a few of the recent articles in regards to Ripple and XRP. I don't feel like they're any concern. I believe it will get itself sorted out because it's too um, connected already to the entire financial system. I don't think they're going to let anything dumb happen at this point. I believe it's beyond all of this silliness. But let's get into the articles that are in the news. Ripple's legal woes likely to dampen XRP growth following recent court ruling. On February 26, Judge Phyllis Hamilton of the Northern District of California ruled that the class action lawsuit filed by investors claiming Ripple sold unregistered securities will move forward. The judge also noted that digital assets do not fall under securities law will be subject to laws against unfair, deceptive, or abusive acts or practices, the UDAP, the U-D-A-A-P law. This means that Ripples could face uh, more lawsuits in the future. Moreover, it could lead to legal trouble for other cryptocurrency companies claiming to not be dealing with securities. And the article states Ripple jumps out of the securities classification frying pan to the UDAP Fire. A group of infuriated XRP investors filed a lawsuit against Ripple claiming the company violated the securities law. Ripple tried to get the case tossed out, arguing that the plaintiffs missed a legal deadline, but the court ruled against Ripple. The case will now proceed, meaning that the court believes Ripple indeed sold XRP to the plaintiffs. However, the judge dismissed some of the plaintiff's claims filed under California law. They were instead given a 28-day period to amend the, pl- the complaints before refiling them in court. And nonetheless, it seems that not being classified as security, what Ripple is trying to win may bring more trouble for the San Francisco-based fintech firm. The judge will now be looking into whether Ripple violated federal laws that warn against unfair, deceptive, or abusive acts or practices, the UDAP, and the court will be investigating a possible violation of California's unfair competition law, the UCL, by Ripple. Unfortunately, if you're Ripple, the securities classification it is striving to avoid might soon get a lot worse. The court ruling puts a target on the backs of other cryptocurrencies or crypto companies and Ripple's court ruling runs deep. Cryptocurrency projects that argue they do not sell securities may have lawsuits filed against them for deceptive or unfair practices under UDAP laws. It suggests that we could be seeing an upsurge in lawsuits filed against many cryptocurrency companies in the future. This is because anyone may file a lawsuit against a crypto company that does not comply with UDAP laws in whatever terms, including the kind of promotional materials it puts out or any undisclosed fees. It should be noted that class action lawsuits based on the violation of the unfair competition law cost an arm and a leg to defend, but the company found by the company found to be breaching it. While many thought being classified as a security is the worst legal implication that can happen to a cryptocurrency, it appears they might have been wrong. Next article I have is the Why Ripple's XRP Usurping Ethereum in 2020 is Highly Possible. Ripple's XRP and Ethereum have been rivals ever since the former debuted on the cryptocurrency scene. Both coins have been tipped over the years to overthrow Bitcoin as the largest cryptocurrency in the market and with both having the third and second spot respectively on the crypto ladder board. The sense of friction and rivalry is only necessary for the market. Ripple's performance for the first and subsequent years made a strong case for the digital coin prompting many experts and investors to believe that it was going to oust Ethereum and bag the second position for a short time. XRP hits all-time high on January 3rd, 2018, climbing above the $3 mark, 
Before the coin achieving this historic feat, it amassed an increase of 49,500% in value over the last 12 months. Ripple was on course to become one of the biggest cryptocurrency, if not the biggest, before the market's extreme volatility happened to it. And remember, as a crypto investor, if you can't handle the 95% dips, then you can't handle the 49,500% increase of gains. Fast forward, the coin itself has lacking and eager to uh, replicate the form of its glory days in the market, still not usurping Ethereum in the process. Ethereum's performance the past year wasn't anything good compared to previous years. Ethereum's below par performance over the past few years has still overshadowed XRP's efforts and remains in the second position on the crypto ladder. 2020 promises to be an interesting year. Most experts and investors believe that XRP has a real shot of usurping Ethereum this year. Ethereum's performance this year has been on and off, rising and falling, whilst hovering around the $220 mark. The coin has seen bearish trends ever since it slipped below its initial resistance levels this year, which was $225 and $228 levels. The coin is now trading at 127.61 USD at the time of this writing and still awaits major decline as it is now way below the 208 support area. Ripple's XRP haven't been any different from the rest of the coins in the market this year. XRP's price has been on the decline and was trading at 15.8 cent at the time of the writing, failing miserably to recover above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level with the digital coin poised to see an all-time low in several months. Experts still believe that the strong developments surrounding it will see it rise and enjoy a bullish trend again. One major factor which has been holding XRP back for years is regulation clarity. The digital coin has had its eyes set on the Indian crypto market for some time now, looking to tap into the ever-growing millennial investors in that region. At the beginning of the month, news broke that India's top court had dismissed a directive from the Reserve Bank of India that banned banks from offering services to anyone that dealt in cryptocurrencies. Experts believe that XRP stands to benefit the most from this decision, and this is due to its remittance privileges, something very prevalent in India. XRP's adoption rate is also off the charts for some months now. Its cross-border payment and remittance privileges have seen it rise and adopted by huge financial firms and corporate bodies. The head of finance of Mexican online cryptocurrency exchange Bitso stated this month that Ripple's ODL has completely transformed the way remittance now works from abroad to Mexico. And it has transformed the cryptocurrency exchange itself in the process. Ripto has already partnered with MoneyGram and other huge financial institutions and just recently entered into another partnership with the National Bank of Fujaira in the UAE for cross-border payments. Experts believe that the digital coin XRP is now reaping benefits of its underlying technology and with its insane rate of adoption, the coin could pull off an amazing performance this year. And I believe it will. I believe once the lawsuit, I don't think it's any issue to be concerned about. And I'm sure Brad has stated many times that he doesn't either. I know it's a little frustrating and annoying. And I believe the reason I'm sharing this, I believe that without the regulational clarity as stated in this article, it makes it very challenging and difficult for them to move forward. I know if, if you're not a business owner or used to running businesses, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But if you have regulation, regulatory clarity, it makes it easy to move forward. And if you do not, it's not happening and not happening very easily. And in the U.S. is one of the biggest uh, regulatory um, powers on the globe. It's very hard to move forward without that. Um, as in the first Ripple's legal woes I don't believe that's going to be an issue again because they're too connected they're already connected to every financial either directly or indirectly 
every major enterprise, institution, and wholesale market in the financial industry. So I, I don't see there as any concern. I wanted to share this to keep you updated, but I have zero concerns and zero doubt. I want to finish this article off with, life will only change when you become more committed to your dreams than you are to your comfort zone. Again, guys, this is not financial advice. It is entertainment purposes only. Much love to all of you, and we'll catch you in the next one.